Hi, I'm Paul Badham, Associate Director at Harrison Clark Chartered Surveyors. In this video, we'll be talking about the role of an expert witness in dispute resolution. In the property industry, a variety of disputes may arise, such as the quality of construction works, payments due under building contracts, dilapidations, or claims of professional negligence. When legal action is instigated to resolve the dispute, the court or tribunal may decide to permit the submission of expert evidence to assist them in reaching a judgment, particularly where claims involve matters of a technical nature. An expert is anyone with knowledge or experience of a particular field or discipline beyond that expected of a layman. Chartered surveyors normally have specialist knowledge or expertise in subjects including construction processes, building defects or construction matters, and are often appointed in property disputes for that reason. The experts must be impartial and uninfluenced by their instructing parties. They must also have the relevant experience and knowledge for the assignment. It's important that the expert who's appointed is not affected by any conflict of interest. The experts can only report on matters which fall within their areas of expertise and experience and their knowledge. They must consider all the material facts in the dispute and they must have the resources to complete the assignment within the retired timescales and to the required standard. Whilst you do not need the court's permission to instruct an expert, the court's permission is required before the expert's re report can be relied upon or an expert can be called upon to give evidence. The court may give the parties permission or instruct them to each obtain expert evidence in relation to establishing specific issues or to agree on the appointment of a single joint expert. An expert can accept instructions directly from the parties, although we'd always recommend that you obtain qualified legal advice before doing so. The most important thing is that the instructions to the expert are clear. If an order or court directions have been issued, these should be provided along with the relevant matters of the case, the parties to the dispute and any required timescales. When we accept your instructions, we'll advise you that our complaints handling procedure doesn't apply. This is because that even though you'd be responsible for paying our fees, the expert's duty is to the tribunal and not the instructing party. We do still have a, a duty to exercise reasonable skill and care and comply with the RICS professional standards. The evidence we provide must set out fully the facts on which our opinion is given, must be truthful, impartial, and provide our independent decision. The reports must cover all the relevant matters, whether or not those facts favor the instructing party or not. Each case will be different depending on the time and complexity involved in reviewing the documentation, undertaking inspections or investigations, reviewing findings, uh, discussing with other experts, and preparing reports. In some complex cases, the time spent can be considerable. No, the RICS practice statement prohibits any appointment on a conditional or success-based fee arrangement. When acting as an expert witness, this could infect your impartiality. The overriding duty as an expert witness is to the court or tribunal to which the expert evidence is given. This is a clear requirement of the civil procedure rules and the practice directions. Harrison Clark, we have a wealth of experience in providing expert evidence and reports compliant with the guidance and protocols. You can be sure that we have a thorough technical knowledge and experience to deal with issues ranging in all our service areas. These have included party wall matters, dilapidations, construction disputes, contract administration and professional negligence. We can be contacted on 02381 550 051 and look forward to speaking with you soon.